Hi everyone, my name is Padma Dharmada. I'm one of the owners at Ahava Hot Yoga in Clarksville, Tennessee. And I'm here today to teach you all a brief yin yoga sequence focusing on the heart and upper back area of the body. Uh, so feel free to join me, roll out a mat or grab some floor space. If you use blocks and straps, go ahead and grab those as well. And as always, drink plenty of water with any practice, with any physical activity. Uh, hydration is very important and listen to your body. That's the biggest thing. So all of our bodies are going to move differently. In yin yoga, these postures are more about how it feels to you, not necessarily about being in some particular shape or form. So if you're ready, let's get started. So we're going to begin with a few moments of breathing. Like breathing is the most important part of a yoga practice. So let's come to a seated position on your mat, however is comfortable to you. You're welcome to sit in a rather tight lotus, or if you have knee issues, you're welcome to just keep the legs out in front of us. Or just cross your legs however is comfortable. Try to uh, turn the pelvis just a little bit, so it's almost like we're sticking the butt out. Lifting the chest, spine is upright. If this is challenging for you to sit upright, you can always place a block underneath the sit bones, just a little bit, just enough to elevate the hips above the knees. This allows us to sit upright more easily. So we're just gonna begin by taking a few breaths in through the nose. Filling up the lungs, hold that breath in for just a second, and then exhale, making that ha ah sound. So let's take another deep breath in through the nose. One more time. We're slowing our breath rate. We're slowing our heart rate. Now one more time. This time we're gonna add arms. So arms beside us. Palms up. Hands to heart center. Let's take another breath. We're gonna do this a total of three times. Exhaling. Hands to heart center. So one more time, we're gonna inhale life, energy into the body. Now starting at heart center, we're gonna go the opposite way. So we're gonna inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Two more times, inhale, arms up. Take a deep breath one more time. And we're just letting go of whatever we don't need. All right. So now we're gonna inhale the arms up. And then as we exhale, we're gonna twist to the right side of the body. So place the right hand behind you. Left hand grabs the right knee. Try to look back across the right shoulder. If your body doesn't twist that far, it's okay. Just a little bit is just fine. We're gonna take a couple deep breaths here. You're welcome to wiggle the spine a little bit just to loosen up. One more second. Let's inhale. Back to center, give a little wiggle. All right, on your next inhale, arms up. Exhale to, to the left. Might get a little adjustment, that's perfect if you do. We never wanna force these twists with the body, but just allow your body to react how it does. And then let's inhale, come back to center. All right, on your next inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up, and then bring the right hand down to the mat. Reach that left arm up and over the body. It's a little bit of a side stretch here. You wanna to try to keep your hips down on the mat. We don't wanna lift the sit bones up. 
So you can stay up high here, or if you have the ability, you can lower down onto that forearm. Now you can roll that shoulder open a little more if that feels good to you, or if it feels better to you, you can roll that shoulder forward a little bit. So this just makes a difference if we're opening more of our front body or the back body with this side stretch. All right, let's inhale, come all the way back up. Sitting upright, we're gonna roll the shoulders back, take a breath. Next side, let's inhale the arms up. Exhale to the left, left hand to the mat, right arm reaches up and over the body. If you like, you can bring that forearm down to the mat or you can stay up on the hand, listen to your body. It doesn't really matter how deep we can get into these postures. What matters in yin yoga is the sensation that we're getting from the posture. Let's inhale all the way back up. All right, so now staying in a seated position, we're just gonna inhale the arms up and we're gonna exhale, fold forward. Just find a place here. You can rock a little side to side. We're just opening up the body a little bit before we move into our main practice. So now you can walk the fingertips as far out in front of you as you like. Maybe drop the elbows towards the mat. You can also bring your forehead towards the mat only if that works for you. We're gonna stay here for just a moment, breathing those breaths might already begin to feel this opening up the upper back area. If this is a little challenging on your neck, you're welcome to place a block beneath your forehead. Maybe roll up a towel to place beneath your head. But try to just stay here, stay still here for just a moment. So in our yin yoga practice, we practice moving beyond the muscular effort. We require our muscles for so much. So our yin practice is moving deeper than the muscles and into our connective tissue. So let's go ahead and gently come back up. And just for balance in the hips, if you are crossing your legs, go ahead and cross the legs the other way. One more time, take a deep breath. And we're gonna exhale, just fold forward. Maybe just bring the elbows to the mat and then bring the forehead down if you can. So we're just gonna take a few breaths here. Now wherever you're at, again, sometimes it takes muscular effort to get into the posture, such as walking ourselves out, pressing ourselves down. But then once we find where we're going, work on letting go of muscular control. Let go of the effort and the tension in the hips, the spine, even the neck. And once we let go of that effort and control, this allows us to better move into the connective tissue of the body. So we're not holding this one long, so we're just gonna walk back up. Take a deep breath. Now we're going to unwind the legs, bring them out in front and the knees, and just rock the legs from side to side. And now we're gonna move into a kneeling position on our mats as we begin our yin practice with a child's pose. So we're just gonna inhale the arms up, and we're just gonna exhale bringing the arms down onto our mats. We're just gonna walk the fingertips out. The forehead comes down to the mat. Now this is a very simple but effective posture, especially if we have tense backs or we experience back spasms or anything of the like. So right here, your knees can be together or apart. The arms, they can be outstretched or they can be around beside us. So we're just gonna take a moment right here. 
idealistically, you want your glutes closer to your heels, but it's not gonna be the same for all of us. So just find where you're going and breathe. I want you to find a moment of stillness in this posture. Child's pose is about surrender. So while we're in this posture, just continue to breathe your breaths. You can make micro adjustments as you need to, but for the most part, we are wanting to create stillness in this posture. The yin yoga practice is about turning inwards, but also giving ourselves a good balance to our yang yoga practice and to the yang aspects of our life. As you're ready, we're just going to shift up onto our knees and our elbows. And from here, if you need any movement for the legs, you can go ahead and stretch them out as needed. This segment of time after a yin posture is called a rebound. So sometimes coming out of a yin posture can be a little um, a little painful with some postures. It can be a little groggy, for lack of a better word. So we're just moving the body, bringing blood flow back into those areas of the body as needed. So from our child's pose, we're gonna come back down into child's pose, and we're just gonna extend the arms outwards, bringing the glutes above the knees, bringing the chest to the mat. This is melting heart. Now you can adjust as needed. So maybe you're a little further forward or maybe you're a little further back. But I want you to find where you're going and then we're just gonna stay there. So maybe your chin is on the mat. This can be a little intense for the neck. So I recommend bringing the forehead to the mat. You can also turn your head to the side. Now for me, I don't have a tight heart space, but I can feel this opening up my upper back and upper spine area, which is a space where I do hold tension. So we're just going to stay here, try to find stillness, focus on those breaths. This posture is opening up our heart, opening us up for greater compassion, feeling greater compassion towards ourselves and even those around us. Now, if you turned your head towards the side, go ahead and create balance by turning your head towards the other direction. If you are facing the left, go ahead and turn facing the right. We're going to stay here for just a moment. Let's take a few more breaths here. And then as you're ready, we're just going to gently come all the way down onto our bellies on our mats. It's fine.
flattening however is comfortable to you. We're gonna extend the arms out in front. And just relax. So this is our rebound posture for our melting heart. So we're just extending the body outwards, reaching your arms out, reaching your toes the other direction. Take a couple breaths here. Now we're gonna bring the arms beside us. So we're reversing that opening of the shoulders. Resting the shoulders. And then when you're ready, we're gonna bring the elbows underneath the shoulders. We're just gonna lift the chest. So we're just lifting the heart upright or lifting the heart forward. Now we can stay here. This is our Sphinx posture. For some of us, this will create a sensation in the lower back. If this is a little too much, you can extend the arms more forward, just creating a slight back bend here. If this is painful for any reason whatsoever, you can just go ahead and lay back down on the mat. If you need more of a sensation, we're just gonna bring those elbows closer to the body, keep lifting. Try to find a space to relax the glute muscles, so don't hold on to anything here. This is unlocking energy in our lower spine, but also opening up the heart space. So this is somewhat of an active posture. If you need more sensation, we're gonna just come up onto the hands, pressing upwards. Now you don't wanna stay here for any longer than a minute. So you can be here if it's too much, just inch the fingers outwards. If you need more, bring the hands closer to the body. So keep pressing upright, relax the glutes just the best you can. Keep pressing the heart forward, breathe. Your body will love you for this practice, I promise. Take another breath. Now we're gonna bend the elbows, walk the fingers outright, and just relax the spine. Now we're gonna bring the hands underneath the shoulders. We're gonna press ourselves all the way back into a child's pose. So with the glutes to come to the heels, forehead to the mat. So we're really relaxing the spine, especially after that deep back bend in that sphinx posture. So again, knees can be together or apart. If you have a bit of a belly like I do, you might wanna separate the knees to create space for the torso. Arms out in front or beside us. Take a few breaths here. If you have blocks available to you, you're welcome to bring the blocks out in front of you and extend the hands and the arms up on the blocks as the forehead comes down to the mat. Again, focusing on letting go of muscular tension. About one third of our muscle is made from connective tissue. And a lot of stress that we hold on to is not just in the muscle, but it's also in our connective tissue. This affects our flexibility and also our performance and physical activities. So often after even just one yin yoga practice, we'll notice a difference in our day to day activities. But a regular practice, of course, is very important. Okay, so if your arms are up on a block, we're just gonna 
bring the elbows gently back onto the mat. And we're gonna bring the arms beside us. Turn the head to the side and bring the arms to our sides for just a moment. Turning the shoulder blades, the shoulder muscles the opposite direction. Take a breath. Now from here, when you're ready, we're gonna press the torso back up onto our hands. Now we're just gonna scoop forward. So we're bringing our glutes above the knees. We're gonna take the right hand and we're gonna thread it underneath that left shoulder and we're gonna lay on the right shoulder. Now, if this is intense on your body and you have shoulder issues, you're welcome to not twist as much. Maybe just bring the wrist towards that left elbow. Or if you'd like more, I encourage you to continue reaching that arm outwards, palm facing up. Keep that left hand beneath the shoulder. Try to keep the hips square to the mat. If you would like a little more, you can stay here or you can reach that left arm up, reach it up and over towards the back side of the body. And we never want to create too much pressure with that shoulder. And then if you would like, you can also straighten that left leg. This opens up the hips just a little bit. Opening up that shoulder, you're welcome to look up at the ceiling here. So we're going to stay here for just another moment. Let's go ahead and bring that left knee down if you straighten the leg. We're going to unwind, bring that left hand beneath the shoulder. Bring that right arm underneath us, bring it beside the body, palm facing up, turn the head to the right, left arm beside us, take a rest. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna bring our hands back underneath the shoulders glutes above the knees. Now, same thing, other side. We're gonna take the left hand, send it underneath that right shoulder. Again, you can bring that left shoulder just right down where it's at, or you can bring it over more towards that right hand. Now we can stay right here, this is beautiful. Again, we're looking beyond the effort, moving beyond muscular effort. The best that you can we're still holding on to some effort here as we're holding ourselves here now you're welcome to reach that right arm up and drop that hand behind us and straightening that right leg helps us to move a little deeper into this twist Continue breathing those deep breaths. Now let's bring that right knee back down. Unwind, bringing that right hand beneath the shoulder. We're gonna gently bring that left arm, bring it down beside us. Turn the head towards the left, laying on that right cheek, right arm beside us. And just rest the shoulders. our hands underneath the shoulders and we're just going to press up so we're back in this kneeling position let's take a deep breath roll the shoulders back if you like and release the fingers opening those shoulders back up the opposite direction good job so now we're just going to lay down on our mats take a moment to rest the body 
to allow the work and the progress that we've made today with our body to take place here. So just take a couple deep breaths. Just allowing the body to be still for a moment. We've made a lot of progress with our body today, maybe even with our mind. Sometimes with a yin yoga practice, we may feel a little sore the day after. This is good news. This means that our body is responding and strengthening itself. Sometimes the mind has the same response. When we move through something, we might feel a little emotional or raw afterwards, for lack of a better word. Vulnerable. <laughs> Vulnerable is a better word. Because we open ourselves up. And as we move through things, we do build a strength. <clears throat> Let's begin to deepen the breath, wiggling the fingers and the toes. bend the knees. <clears throat> We're going to turn onto the right side of our body in a fetal position for just a moment. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale all the way up back to a seated position, however is comfortable to you. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this class. I typically would teach an hour of yin yoga if I teach a formal class, uh, but I think short videos are a little bit more manageable for a home practice sometimes. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.